it's always hard trying to get the right height for this uh, camera. So I'm in the process of getting another camera. So this is one of the Green Eye Monster um, job service. Uh, I can't make it up, people. Somebody get on the phone with one of these clients. Well, he about to tell me some outrageous story. So when they start that stuttering and make it, give these imaginary stories, I got to tell them to hold up. And it's crazy. Some of these people I be on the phone with and on Skype with, these are grown um, men and women. They're not always like kids. So I know he about to fabricate some story. So I just I just like to put this stuff on because I'm like you just can't make a lot of up. So I'm gonna call him back now. I told him I'll call him back in a little bit. See what he's talking about. Hello. Yeah. So what what's going on? Start from the begin. Start from the beginning. You wait, 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 wait. What the hell is marijuana punch? Like you know how they infuse the, the stuff in No, I don't know nothing. Jones don't know nothing. I I'm no, drug free. I, so basically it's like moonshine. You heard of moonshine? I heard of moonshine but I don't drink. Right, so alright, so moon so it's basically like liquor. It's supposed to be liquor. It's all in the punch. It's like all in like the big joint where we, we all pour our own cups. I'm thinking it's a mixture of like normal stuff and shit, whatever, but they put weed in the shit, not knowing that nothing that I had to do, and I didn't make sure because I didn't think it would be nothing weed infused. So I'm drinking the shit, and then I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? Like, I'm high as hell. And they was like, yo, that's some weed. That's, it's basically weed fucking, I forget what they call it. It's a weed cocktail or some shit, marijuana cocktail. And I'm like, what the fuck? I started snapping on my sister, my cousin, all of them. Because I'm like, yo, I'm, I leave in 20 fucking days. I got another drug test in 20 days. What the fuck is y'all doing? And they're like, yo, you can get the shit out your system in 20 days. But did, did, did you say you had two dates to leave? I said, I already chose my fucking date. It ain't no, oh, I, oh, I can choose a, a, the 11-6 now. No, I'm leaving on the 25th. Period. And then... They was like, well, did you say the oil Mr. Jones had another opportunity? He said it might take five more weeks, but it's, it's, it's for more money, whatever it's that, and the third. And I'm saying, and, and that's the only thing that calmed me down. And they was like, call him, see what he say. If not, then we'll work on getting you detox drinks and all that other shit. But I cannot let this fucking opportunity, I'm, I'm sorry for cursing so much and all that, but this is just, I cannot let this opportunity fall down the drain, Mr. Jones. This is all I got. I sat here and cried. I cried all night, literally. Literally. Like, literally cry. Tears run down my face. I'm praying to God. Like, what is going on? Why did that shit have to have weed in it? Why, knowing that there's 20 days left in my jar, I haven't smoked no weed, I haven't done, I just need to know, like, if you can push it back for, for the five weeks, um, for that, whatever you said, for me, 90000 instead of 70000 um, which you said you want to get out on the 25th. And I know that the drug test is going to be at, the training and not when I actually so proceed. so let's start over okay now you already know me by now right I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat now what kind of people you're hanging around with that you feel your day before you about to leave to make 90 some thousand a year no federal or state tax that exactly. you want to go out where well, you want to go out and party why would you even you know, why would you even take that risk? That's like getting ready to get drafted to go to the NFL, but let me go to, to some hood party before I go get drafted where I might it get shot. Like it, was, it, it was my cousin's party. It, was my it cousin don't matter. Your worst, your worst enemies and your downfall would be the, the people that carry the same bloodline. You're right. If they were your family, if they love you that much, they'd say, hey, you know what, cuz? We're gonna, let's, let's, let's just sit at home or just chill. Or, you know, they would watch out for you. But if they if they're spiking if you're if they're having parties where they're creating this new I never heard fusion of marijuana and punch then that's not the type of family members I want to associate with when I'm trying to put myself to the next level. So what company are you going with again? I'm going with Triple Canopy. And you about to go to uh, 
You about to go to orientation, right? Orientation is on the 25th. Of, I didn't give me no get no plane tickets or something like that, but they said I believe it on the 25th of October to go to El Paso, Texas, or North Carolina, or both of them. I don't know which one. All right. So when El when Paso, did Texas, when did you uh, when did you went to this party? I went to the party uh, last Friday. You went to the party what what three days ago? Yeah, yeah. And you wait till now to call me. I didn't know that the shit was marijuana. I, I didn't. I did. I didn't know what to say to you, Mister Jones. I didn't know. I didn't know what to say to you until right now. I've been trying to flush my system out, which is nothing but water, all that. But then you said that you was gonna let me know about the other opportunity that got, that I can make more money with. That you said it would take five more weeks for me to leave. But because I already got the interim security clearance, you could get me more money. So what what did what did we agree on? What did we agree on? You agree to go with the the security company, or you agree to go with Castellas, right? Castellas, yeah. But you have your pre interim clearance, right? Yes. The, was there other offers that came through, or was that the only one we applied for? I think that was the only one that we applied for. But you said you could try to get me into another one. The um the last email that I received from them was from William Cantrell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't call these don't call these people name out loud. Um, All right, my fault. My fault. Um, and it said position title FBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know all that. I, I know all that. You're not the first person I dealt with that makes some. I don't want to say bad. Y'all guys be making stupid decisions. Yeah, dumbass fucking mistake. Exactly. Yeah. No, okay. So, like you said, you don't sugarcoat shit. It was a fucking retarded mistake. What What is your last fucking mistake? What's your last name again? Church C H U R C H. All right, hold on. So we had a conversation about the taking a, getting getting your full secret first before jumping companies, right? No, I don't think we did. What what what? When I found out you had your intro, what was the conversation about? You asked me did I have my cat card yet, my CAC card. I said no, I don't know if I'm supposed to get that when I get there. Oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. So it's it's the third, and you leave on the twenty fifth, right? 25th October, yeah. That should be enough time to clean you out. So what you're going to do is you're going to do on the 20th. So I'm not going to waste a lot of energy right now. So what you're going to do on the 20th, you're going to go and take a home, one of the home test kits from the um, pharmacy and test okay. yourself and see what shows up. And I think those kits may be like 20 something dollars. Yeah, they they about twenty five. I was gonna do that after I try to detox you. Well, you just wait. You give if it was Friday, you give it about another week, another week or two. So another week or two that put you at the at fifteen. So on the fifteen, somewhere between now, by maybe about the seventeen, you're gonna go yeah. to the, the um, pharmacy and do a kit, or you can you can do uh, a drug test on your own, a volunteer one, which would be. Um, Forty-five dollars from like the doctor, not the doctor. Lab court. Yeah, lab court. It, you do one yourself is like forty-five dollars, and see it, how that turned out. If that turned out all right. I wouldn't worry about it because you have your interim, and by you have your interim, your interim open up other doors for you, which you're right. But you don't have the cat card. You need the cat card so you can go ahead online on the on the government site and take these uh, qualifications that give you more tools in your tool belt. So look at it, look at it as you're going to war, you know, you know you're, you go to war with just a a, a, a gun, a M16, which is the um, AK automatic right. rifle, yeah, or you yeah. can go to or you can go to war in a tank, you know. So if you want to win the war or make make more more scribe in the war, you want to go to war in a tank, mm -hmm. and you know, or you can go to war you can go to war with a gun on your feet, or you can go to war in a tank, or you can go to war in a jet. Or you can go in the water and submarine. So each time this is like adding to your tool belt, it makes you more valuable. It makes you more of a resource and your money grow and your opportunities grow. So that's why with your interim, it opens up the other doors, but it, your, the doors ain't the doors not open up all the way. It just opened up a crack 
and what you got is a, a, a small amount of money. So right now your salary is at what? Seventy one. All right, seventy one thousand. Okay, seventy one thousand. It's not really a lot of money, but here's the thing: they're going to you're, you're going to be going federal tax. I mean, no federal tax, no state tax, paying for your housing and your transportation. So you're looking at if I was in the state that that 71 I won't even make a fraction of it because I will be paying either rent and rent gonna be like a thousand a month or I'll be paying mortgage and mortgage gonna be two thousand a month so by me not paying rent because they're gonna put me in a, 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 a condo or apartment with another guy I'm already saving twenty thousand dollars a year now you're looking right. at your transportation back to work you're saving another six or seven thousand and fuel maintenance and things like that now you're looking at your federal and state tax you keep in more of your money so you're you're doing good. You're able to take more a percentage of your money that you would use for your living and actually put it to your debt. So how old are you now? I'm only twenty three. Okay, you're twenty three, okay. The other guy I sent, he was twenty two, he was already gonna make the ninety five because he had the tools that you don't have yet. So that's why you don't even gotta get a full secret clearance. I need you to get those certifications. And you can't get those certifications until that first company go ahead and give you that cat card that allow you to get online to register and take those classes to get that ninety something thousand. So yes, you are you are effing up big time because at twenty three, man, that is that to be at twenty three and have the opportunity to make ninety three thousand, and you don't even have, you're not going in the military to do twenty years, fifteen years. You don't need a college degree. You're basically getting in by who you know, not what you know. <coughs> and I would be like your father. You you need your ass whooped. But, but this is what makes me unique from a lot of people because I know that people make mistakes. But I know for me to get paid and I know for you to change your financial structure in your life and your family because you got a, you got a, you have a kid, right? No, I don't got no kids. Well, but I do well, got family. Well, let's glad you don't have a kid because you make making decisions like this. I know I got to get you out of the United States and do something better with yourself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait that two weeks uh, on the 16, 17, somewhere like that. You're going to go to the pharmacy. You still working? Yes, sir. Okay, so don't don't quit that job. When you The final week of you, when you go to fly to your orientation and your training... <laughs> And that's all. The only thing they're gonna do is you're gonna do a, a mile and a half run and do some push up. And if you can't do it, it doesn't matter. They're gonna put you on a special program. And um, only thing you're gonna do when you take your test, if it shows clear, then go ahead and go. But your job you're doing now, you're not gonna quit it. So what you're gonna do is take temporary leave. So the day you the day you fly to go to your orientation, you're gonna tell your company the job you work with in the state. You're going to tell them you're sick, right? So basically, you're going to be out of work for like three days while you're in orientation, giving you a chance to take that final drug test with that company so that if something happened, you're not coming back without a job and it's going to take me at least four weeks to five weeks to get you out of here with a company for more money. But if going with a company for more money with just your interim, you're only going to get, you if you're at 73, you're only going to be able to get, say, 80. So that's like an 8,000 increase, but that's it. You won't never be able to get no higher because right. you don't have the full clearance and you don't have the cap. So you're not in a lose situation. You're in a win-win situation, but at the same time, the company I'm probably trying to get you with, they might only have two positions left. Then you might be in on waiting more than five weeks. So we're going to go ahead and move forward with Triple Canopy. Y'all can do it all, whatever home remedy y'all want to do, drink a gallon of... Uh, first, and then yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know nothing about these old school remedies, how people be, but I know the best thing is to go to the pharmacy and say, hey, ma'am, is there something I can do to flush my system out? And I got to go, and just to be honest, I got to go take a test in the next 20-something days. Is there something I can take that can help? We're getting a better result because I'm gonna take a pretest before I get there, and um, see what the people with the pharmacy tell you, or Google, but don't listen to these home remedies with vinegar, lemon, and all this other stuff because that is not a guarantee. You know, gallon of water and all this other stuff and, and detox and all this stuff. 
That's kind of you still you still it's kind of if if now I have you had teetering and tottering on the edge. Yeah, I have I had had um two young ladies um similar situation which you was about to get into. She went and party to celebrate her new employment, her her new wealth, her new beginning, and she went and smoked because she said I already passed one drug test. When she got there, they did another drug test which she popped hot. Another young lady she was scared to take the test so she kind of we kind of find ways to push it back another two weeks um and you can do the same thing so it's like if you're about to fly you know all of a sudden you just go ahead and you feel ill and then you go to the doctor which is a emergency emergency doctor's care one of those places and you tell them you just don't feel good and you give them all the symptoms as a person with covid would have and what the doctor would do, put you out of work, and you would take that and send it to that company. Now, that company have to reschedule your flight or reschedule you for the next training gap, which can be the next two or three weeks. So now you have three weeks leeway to kind of purify your system if something did come up there when you did a pretest. And then what happened is you can't fly. So basically what the doctor is saying, you're not flight worthy. And, and when you go to the doctor, the doctor said, the doctor gives you the opportunity to say, when can you be back for a checkup? And they give you dates. So the doctor said, well, we have a, you can come back in a week. You said, well, let's make it two weeks. So therefore you confirm with the doctor, your next checkup to clear you for a clean bill of, bill of health is two weeks. So when well, you're not unable, you're, you're, just, you're, you're medically, medically, um, you're kind of medically disabled to fly or to, to go there to work right now. And so then they're going to say, well, when the doctor clear you, let us know so we can get with our deployment team to reschedule your flight for the next uh, orientation training. So you're in a win situation. So we're going to wait and see what, what goes on, okay? You listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So you're good for right now. Just take the test in the next two weeks, and we'll see where you're at. Okay. And don't go to more, no more parties, nothing, man. I don't care. If sit still. You don't. You go somewhere, people secondhand smoke. I don't know about these drug stuff. I'm just saying you need to be be wary. I'm going to be out the way. I'm staying in the house until I leave. All right. Okay. Thank you again. Mm-hmm. Um, this is why a prime example of... of, of Fathers, um, his cousin throwing him a party. He's not he's not leaving for the military. He's leaving for work, and his cousin throwing him a party. And you already know what type of family member you deal with. You already know if you deal with family members that drink. You already know, you know we deal with a family member that smoke. Now I'm not prejudging anything when anybody does, but when you're about to when you're making ten dollars an hour. And making sixteen thousand a year, and you're about to make ninety some thousand a year or seventy some thousand a year. It's not a good idea to go out there and celebrate in an environment where you know there's going to be alcohol, you know there's going to be marijuana, you know there's going to be everything that is technically illegal or not in your good moral. Or environment for you to I don't know if I'm saying the word for you to be able to leave you know people do this all the time I don't know I don't understand that you know it's it's it's, it's like people will go people will do people will do five years in prison right and, and get out on probation and that same day they go out they get out right the same thing that got them in there they'll go straight to a party or club Right, which they know is a violation of their probation. The first day they go out, they'll go to a, a party or something somebody's throwing with for them or to a club to celebrate. And it's first day is a violation of probation. Uh, a place of alcohol, which you know there's a chance there's going to be some type of violence or some type of conflict or confrontation that's another violation of probation. You know at certain establishments, the chances are very high Somebody's going to be out there smoking and getting high. And those that you call your loved ones and family members, they're going to try your first day out. They're going to try to get you back in prison by getting you to smoke something to get high. 
knowing that that's another violation of probation, then you know you have to go take, like this young man, you have to go take a drug test in the next coming up or a probation or whatever will show up. So, oh my goodness, boy, this, hold on. So, these people, I, I don't never understand the decisions they make, you know, but they're young. He's only 23. Father's never around. You know, you hear about the moms all the time. A lot of the time I have the moms calling me, Mr. Jones, what can you do? He makes up. He's a kid. I'm so sorry. I told him you shouldn't do that. I told him the fathers ain't going to have that conversation. They're going to say, hey, you need to sit still, man. You're about to leave. You want to be out there at that party. Sit still, you know. The father's already going to implement the, 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 the implement the, the, the rules. He's already going to look his son in the face and say, hey, you don't need to be out there to that party, you know. Hey, hey, you just coming home, stay in the house. Ain't nothing good out here. You just got out from prison. Hey, you're about to go to this NFL draft. Hey, stay in the house. Hey, sit still. Hey, be patient. Hey, ain't nothing good out there. Hey, stay home with the family this week. You know, wait till you get a secure thing. Wait till you start working. You know, he, st he teaches his son to make these smart moves because he was a young man too. And he knows trouble is easy to get into and hard to get out. And he already know the family members they got. You going out there with, with Bubba and TT and them? Nah, I already know what they're about. You don't need to be out there, man. You about to make some good money. Money I have, n I have um, never made in my life. <sighs> okay, who is this right here? It's another, another guy. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is another young lady. Hello. Yeah, she called? You called me. I had a missed call. Oh, okay. You got some stuff in your account you need to take care of. You already saw it? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, now. you got your uh, your drug test and everything. So you good on this drug test? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure? I've been around it, but I don't smoke at all, though. But when did you been around it? Do a pretest before you go there if you have the money. Go to the pharmacy and do a pretest. I don't know the ins and outs, but you don't you don't want to fail that test because then that there's nobody else that's gonna accept you into to get that clearance that you need. There's nobody else if you fail with this company. So okay. I just would advise you uh push this drug, the registration, push it back as far as you can push it. Ask them if they got something in the next two weeks, not coming up in the, in the next couple of days. Um, and then I will go take a pre-test from the pharmacy and see how things turn out. Okay, cool. All right. He's 23. She's 35. So, oh my goodness. Hold on. I, I, can't, I can't be making this stuff up, man. And people be like, well, how do you stay in business? So, hey, hey man, my phone has been broken since Thursday. Just got a new one today. Oh, boy, I don't got time for this. I was trying to do a good mentor YouTube thing, but oh my goodness. I stay in business. That's why I, I constantly make money. I make money off the same people three. Uh -huh. Hey, Brandon. Hey, hey, check your. Did you check your email? Your offer is in there. Cause you did you talk to somebody already? Must be. Yeah, I got uh, called probably about uh, an hour ago. Yeah, it was what about two minutes interview. Yeah. So so your your offer is in there. So now you want to go to that the the um company profile site, right? Where all your information will be there. So right now what I'm about to send you is going to be the password to get into the company profile site. 
and the user the user is going to be your Gmail account so your Gmail e email address so when you open that offer letter um, it's going to say some things and it should be a link that will take you directly to that company website and that username is going to be your Gmail address and the password is going to be what I just sent you okay okay alright I can't make this stuff up. All right, let me just end this video. Um, <laughs> let me see how many minutes on it. Oh my goodness, man! Too long, too long.